Hi, I'm Phil with PhilTheGardener.com. Today we're going to uh, work on how to plant some annuals in a pot. And we're going to use this hanging basket for our subject this time. This is an older uh, pot that's been used before. So what I did was I took a piece of this cocoa mat, just kind of put it in the bottom to help reinforce the bottom of the of the uh, deal so the dirt don't fall out the bottom. And just to give you a close up, kind of makes a nice little nest. We'll put the soil then in, in there and it should be enough to, to make it where the plants will do fine. Now this soil is just some potting soil that I picked up at the local hardware store and I'm going to I can mix in a little bit of fertilizer. I like to use a rose and lawn care fertilizer. It's got a systemic in it. It kind of helps to keep the bugs and stuff from getting the plants right off the bat. Just a, just a handful of it. Mix it in with the soil before we put it in the basket. And that will just kind of give the plant something to, uh, to work on. Now, when you're using your wife's good dining room table, make sure you clean it off good after you get done. But this is just an older table that we use for working out in the garden. And what I'll do is I'll just fill this pot with some soil. I'll put the plants in and then I'll place a little more soil around it. The, uh, I'm using some petunias. They'll make a good plant for hanging down over the sides of the basket. And then I'll put some salvia in the middle and it'll kind of help to be an upright plant for the center of the of the uh, deal. Now, on these, these petunias, some of them are a little bit root bound, so you just kind of loosen up the roots a little and then place them in the basket. I like to work one side and then fill in the middle and then go to the other side and complete it. I like to over plant them because that way then it makes it look like a nice full basket right away. We, uh, we put a little bit more soil in here. We want to have plenty of soil. Three six packs for this size of the basket is going to be plenty. It'll be it'll be full enough. And just take and just loosen up the roots a little, and then just place them in the pot. Firmly press them into the soil so that they get the roots get uh, they, the roots take a hold real quick. Now it's like these salvia, they they got plenty of roots on those, so we need to break them up a little, and then just place them in the middle. We'll just continue to go right on through and place them in the upright. So I'll be now these. They don't have a lot of bloom on them yet, but they will. And when they get the blooming good, whether the purple and the purple or lavender or whatever you want to call it, and the white will be a good blend. Continue to go right on around with our petunias. And as we do, we need to make sure that our basket holds up so that it, otherwise the dirt will fall out the sides of it. These hanging baskets are kind of nice. They they just kind of give some color that's elevated. Looks like out of this, these two six packs of petunias, we got two of them are blooming, so that gives you a little idea of what the color is going to be. In a couple weeks, these things will be full of blooms. There's already some others that are popping out. 
So that'll be great. What we'll do is we'll take and get our watering can and water that good. Just make sure you got it good and watered. That way the plants don't stress. You want to make sure there's plenty of moisture in the ground so that it doesn't suck the moisture out of the root bowl. And then the uh, the other nice thing is you can take and use by using a watering can. About every week and a half or so, you can put some Miracle Grow with it, and I know I'm advertising for Miracle Grow, and uh, you can use some Miracle Grow to, uh, to just fertilize it and, and just give it that much more of a stimulus. Now let's take and we'll see if we can get this basket to hang up, and I'm gonna. I'm going to come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's hanging up. And now here's the basket with the flowers in it and basically makes a good backdrop with the pool, the pond in the background and everything. And this is another tip from Phil the Gardener at philthegardener.com.